Hi, welcome back to It's My Workshop. Uh, I'm here with my daughter, Lizzie. Hi. We are going to start part two of the 3D printer. Today, we're going to test the electronics. Uh, so we're going to go through each part. Um, I am just going to use the stock components that it came with. Uh, I said on one of the previous videos that I was going to uh, upgrade the wiring and stuff, and I will do that in the future. But today, we're just going to use what they have just to do a quick test to make sure everything's working. So let's get to it. Okay. All right, Lizzie, you ready? Yeah. Um, first thing, this is the power supply, okay? So this is what gives power to all these motors to make everything work. And the first thing you have to do, uh, it comes from the factory set at 220 volt, which you may or may not have to change. I have to change it to 110 volts just because that's what our house uses. Yeah, so there's just a switch in there that you have to flip. And then the next thing, uh, you have to wire up the power cord to the power supply. Uh, Lizzie had to help me with that because I'm colorblind, but I think we got it all set up here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is plug this into my power strip. I can reach it. <laughs> oh, I got it. Thanks. Good. There it's going. And I have my little multimeter here. And ooh, I got to plug it in better. There we go. Uh, we can check it. So everything on here should be 12 volts. So when I hit that and that. Hey, 12 volts. See how it's right around 12? Yeah. So that means that we're getting the right power on all of these. Good. So that's a good sign. I'm going to unplug that for now. Okay. Now, now that we know that we're getting good power to the power supply, we need to test all this stuff. Why do you think we want to test it now? We haven't even sure built it. Works. Yeah, we gotta make sure everything works before we put it all together for real and then find out it doesn't work and we'd have to take it all apart. Uh, I did mention that I was going to try and make things a little more safe. One of the things you can do is to get these spade or ring terminals. And rather than having that bare wire. You know, you just kind of undo the screws and then screw it down and, and have like a friction fit in the power supply. You can put these on the end and it just gives it a little bit better connection. So I'm going to be doing that on some of the wires. I'm also going to be using some thicker wires too to make some parts of it safe, safer. Because <laughs> some people said that these things started like melting. Because Yeah, that's no good. Alright, so what we need. We got the screen in here. We got our four motors. We got our extruder, the front end. We got our heating bed. We got wires. This is the main board that everything plugs into. No, it's not a Raspberry Pi, but we will hook up the Raspberry Pi to it later, but not in this step. And then here I have a diagram of where everything goes, but everything's labeled on the board as well. So um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause the video and all I'm going to do is hook up all these wires into these spots and get it ready to go. Okay? You ready to do that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we went ahead and hooked things up. Actually, Lizzie did most of the hooking up. Yeah. The motors all have a little connection. It can only go one way and they connect to the back. Yeah. Oh yeah, ours has the little dots. They're also labeled which one goes to which motor, just to keep things straight. And then they come to a corresponding section of the main board. So we have the X motor, Y motor, and the two Z motors uh, coming to this part of the main board. And this is all laid out on this huge diagram. Uh, there's some videos online. It's in the instruction manuals. Oh yeah, and the extruder comes over to the main head. Thanks, Lizzie. Um, then over here, we have three of our end stops. 
So we have the Z end stop, the Y, and the X. And those tell these motors when to stop. So when they get far enough that the print would not would no longer be on the plate, it it's, tells it to stop and start going in the other direction. Um, we also hooked up the LCD screen. There's one place where it goes. We hooked up the two fans. There's this fan that I think hooks onto the front of the or no, these I think go over a motor. And these, this goes over, no, I'm sorry, this goes over the extruder and this is the part that blows on the uh, stuff that you're making so that chute uh, hooks up to it. I have not hooked up the hot plate. I'm going to do that next all by itself just because, I don't know, I want to make sure everything's good on that. So then I have a negative and a positive, so that's 12 volts coming right here to the board. So right now I'm just going to be powering these things. Now, um, we tested this and this was kind of a pain. But, yeah, we watched the guy's video. Luckily everything turned on, so that's a bonus. Um, the fan works automatically that fan so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug him but I just wanted to see that one turned on right away so we'll take him off then can you hold it there sweetie yeah. thanks there we go and we can set him off to the side then so that fan works this other blower fan you have to turn on so um first off these buttons stink <laughs> they're real wonky uh but it's how you're gonna work it to make the motors work. This is what we're testing now. So everything's turned on, everything's hooked up right. Um, I'm going to go down to, it says position. So I apologize you can't see that very well from where you are. I'll link to a video that shows this uh, somewhat well. And I'm gonna go to position and then you have to click down. These buttons don't always register. And I'm going to one option called X position fast. And I choose that. And then it shows where the, this X motor should be. And do you have the end stop there for X, sweetie? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to change that position. And as I change it, the motor will move. And then, Lizzie, if you could hit that stop. Right now? Sure. Yeah, it's supposed to stop the motor. The thing is, the numbers don't change fast enough to see the mo because the motors changes at the same speed that this thing's moving um, but I can see that the button is registering here so I think everything's okay with it uh, the good news is that the motors moving um, and then we're going to do the same thing with the Y so you want to grab the Y got it, got it. and I'm going to change that position too and you can see now our Y motor is moving I hit that end stop so I can see that register on this screen again so I'm assuming it's going to be okay but again it just the, the not yeah the numbers move pretty slow and the motor moves just as fast as I can change the numbers even if I hold it down it never does oh there it goes pretty good ah, it still stops when I stop well, I guess we'll see. But the button seems to be working. We'll just make sure everything's going the way it should. And then we need to go back and do the Z position. Yep, the Z. Now that will move both of those because they work together. So there they're moving. Let's see if I can get these to move really fast up to where they're supposed to go. No. Nope. All right, hit that Z button. Good. So I saw that register too. So I'm guessing that's all that we need to see that everything's working. Uh, she pressed the button and the words changed on here to show that the end stop came on and off. So um, I'm hoping that means that everything's working okay. I think it does. Uh, the next thing we can do is... Sure, we can do, oh, the extruder is next on the list, so we'll oh. do the extruder. Okay. So the extruder is this thing, and when I push this in, 
and change the extruder number, this little gear here should start spinning. So uh, I have to go down to extruder position and then we'll click that. Yeah, it doesn't move very quickly, but it's moving. So that's working. That's good. And then we'll go back. And the last thing that we have to test with what I have hooked up is this fan. You ready to hook up, hold on to the fan? Yeah. You can tell me if it's blowing there. Oh, fan speed. So there's an option called fan speed. And I'm going to hit enter next to fan speed and we'll change it manually. And you'll see there's a button that flashes like crazy down here on the main board, and that's good. And at first I thought it was broken because it was just clicking. Do you feel air coming out? Yep. Oh, I feel it now. So we'll kick it up to, here I have it at 80%. Woo! <laughs> Let's take it all the way up, see what happens at 100. So there's 100%. Um, but if we make a shroud for it, or we put that chute on it, it'll go pretty good. But it's it's pretty quiet once it gets up to speed. I think just slower, something's clicking in there. Yeah. Uh, so, you can hear it for that. Yeah, those are cheap things, though, so I might even be able to get a replacement for it. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Now I'm going to pause the video and we'll get all of this stuff out of the way and we'll do the heat bed finally. Okay? Okay. Okay, so we hooked up all the heating stuff to test out. So what we had to do, we have the hot bed here. We have the extruder here. And we have the LCD hooked up here and our power supply. So the hot bed has a couple connections. Two of them come over here to uh, one of these white JST connections, and the other comes over here to get power. Uh, this does, I believe, matter, the red and black, and it has plus and minus marked on the board. Uh, I've heard that some of the boards have been flip-flopped, so if you're watching another guy's video, just make sure that you're putting things in the right way. And then we have a cable hooked up to the extruder that will heat that up as well. Um, then I think that's it. I think we're ready to go. So we'll plug this back in. It comes up with your menu and you want to go menu down to quick settings and you want to go down to preheat PLA. I'll hit enter. There's a few lights on the board. There's one under the heating bed, yep. too. It shows that it's going. And so what it's doing right now, maybe I can go back. Yeah. So it's hard to see, but my extruder's up to, it's heating up to 190. It's already up to 123 degrees. So that's this part here. The extruder is heating up, getting real hot. Be careful, Lizzie. Yeah. <laughs> I'll burn you. Um, hot bed is at 36. It's warming up to 60 degrees. It's taking a little longer, but it's definitely warming up, and you can feel it. So I think this all of our really yeah, this one gets really hot. I can feel that from a distance. So uh, let's see what happens when it gets up to 190. See if oh, one of those lights did turn off. I don't know. <laughs> yep, another one turned off. So when they hit some marks, I bet they just turn off. Yeah, they're, they're coming back on. Because it'll keep cooling off. And when it cools off, it'll turn back on and heat them back up to try and keep them at a certain temperature. This is 191 degrees. 191 degrees. Yeah, that's hot. That's uh, hot. But that's it for the electronics. It looks like everything works, so... That's it for now. The next videos will be putting everything together now that it seems like it works. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks. You want to say anything? Bye.